So I have no idea what day it is. Day. It's Wednesday, the 27th of March. I have no idea what day it is. I actually really have no idea on anything at the moment because I am so tired from waking up at 10 to 5 this morning to go and do the um, Cape Hillsborough Wallaby tour down on the beach and it was amazing. Wasn't Hello, it? there's so much slides, slides. So we went and did the tour, which was hosted by a lovely man named, I've forgotten his name already, Murray. <laughs> wow, this is really bad, I really do need caffeine. Um, Murray was so lovely, we went down onto the beach just before the sun came up and he was telling us about the two kangaroos that they have there that were hand raised in the park. So they aren't quite as afraid of humans as what the wallabies are because they're all wild animals. Um, but the kangaroos will happily sort of come near you. But it's still not a great idea to feed them, don't try and touch them, things like that. Um, unfortunately this morning it was sort of, it was actually quite upsetting to see so many people thinking they had the right to go up and try and catch and touch these wild animals they are doing their natural thing they're going down on the beach to collect the pods that they eat and people are there scaring them we saw one lady in particular scare three tiny little joeys their mums were obviously quite distressed because they were trying to get back to their mums and she was standing in between them and so the joeys actually jumped up off the beach. The mums had to go around all the people to get back up to the joeys. And she was obviously still oblivious, had no idea what she'd done. So Murray went over and tried to explain it to her. But unfortunately, some people just feel so self-entitled that she didn't get it. Anyway, the moral to that story is, please don't touch the wallabies or kangaroos. Don't try and feed them. Just They're not, them yeah, just admire them from a distance, appreciate what they're doing in nature, um, and that they're actually allowing us to watch them. If you want to feed kangaroos or wallabies and pat them, go to Australia Zoo or any of the other nature parks that we have up and down our east coast. It, um, yeah, it was, it was such a beautiful morning, but it was just slightly ruined by the self-entitledness of some people. But anyway, after a pretty short drive today, an hour and a half, we're here at Airlie Beach. It is beautiful. How's that for tropical surrounds? And the slides and pool are just up there, which we're about to go and have a go on, see what they're like. And it comes with another. 